Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am back to share more Scrap Diva design dies. Who's Scrap Diva 29? Here is her website, all of her other information, and make sure to follow the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. And I am sharing the Ruffle Border die set. Guys, this is so pretty. Love this die set. Um, here's three examples. They almost remind me of like, you know, making paper ruffles to embellish with, but this is such a pretty die. When it the this cuts out, you have like little slots and you can like weave in ribbon. I did glitter cardstock here, but so pretty. So here's three examples of what I made. The ribbon I just glued on the back and then the paper I just glued like right there. Just cut it off, but I did some stitching. So different ways to layer these up. So pretty. And these dies here, like this cuts out one solid piece, these three little dies here. Um, when you cut them out, this back piece here will not cut out. So if you do want to use them for like the layering pieces, you just take your scissors and cut them. But what this die does do is it cuts out a pretty border. Look at how pretty that is. And you don't have to use it for card, you can use it for all kinds of embellishments and stuff, but... Oh my gosh, I was like, ugh. when I realized what it did, I'm like, yay. <laughs> so pretty. But I did use this die here, so I do have a card base. So I think this is four and a quarter by five and a half. So you want to make sure that the piece that's actually going to cut out, you want to line that on the very front here. And then, let's see, I do have washi tape. I didn't know if I left it over here. You are just going to line that up the best you can. And then just put washi tape on there. I did way too much washi tape, but my thing is out of frame. I do have the electronic, the Sizzix one, the pink one, but I find myself using, oops, I did not line that up right. Gotta set that on there a little bit better. Oh, darn tape. But I don't, I find myself not using the electronic one. For some reason, I like the hand crank one. Because a lot of times when I'm cutting out, what is this? I'm not going through. I need to buy new plates. Is what it is. My plates are so worn out, and they've gone through crooked so many times for me not paying attention. Okay, so we'll take the washi tape off. And what you, it did cut off was this little piece here. So of course you just throw that away. But you don't really need it. Then you have this, oops. I'll have to get my pokey tool and get that off later. I shouldn't have put that around the other side, but then you have this really pretty edge and then you can go through, use this same die and cut out whatever to layer it up, put, pink here put the gold here so that it goes all the way to the edge or you can just have it so that it stays you know right to there and then put a different color underneath there's a little bit of white because inside i stamped happy birthday but it came out so pretty love 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 this die set but i guess i'll have to make another card yay and the other die set that I used to make this um, card was the large sunflower bag topper. I just used the, the flower parts, layered them up, and popped it on that card. I am going to make the bag topper 
love this die set too. Just set them like that so you can see them. Look at how pretty. Then I just um, used foam squares in between all the layers and I did um, paper and vellum. I'm kind of loving that look of the paper and the vellum. Then I just put a little bit of um, glitter on the tips of the top part of the lighter pink. Put a pretty bow, just a few little embellishments, but so pretty guys. And I will leave the links down below for both of these dies and make sure to go check out Erica's um, website and see the entire release. Lots of good dies. And thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and I do have a coupon code, which is Davina10, if you'd like to save 10% off of your order. Thank you. Bye.